Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today I'm going to mention uh, an important hadith regarding charity You can find this hadith in uh, Sahih Bukhari The name of the sahabiya is Zainab anhu. She was a wife of Abdullah bin Masood anhu. Once she heard Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa saying Encouraging women to give charity So she asked her husband to ask Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam whether is it okay to give portion of the zakat to her husband and the orphans living under her protection. Abdullah bin Masood said, you go ask by yourself from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So she went to the masjid, stood outside the masjid along another Ansari woman who has similar issue. Bilal was uh, passed by. So she asked Bilal, to ask Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam about the issue. So Bila, but uh, she told him not to mention her name. So Bila Allah who went inside and uh, asked Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the issue. Then uh, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam asked, "Who are those two women?" He said, "It was uh, Zainab, the wife of Abdullah bin Masood radhiyallahu anhu." Then he said, yes, you can give portion of the skat to your husband and the orphans under you. And told her that she will get double the reward. One reward for giving zakat and second reward for taking good care of their relative, of her relative, subhanAllah. So through this hadith we come to know brothers and sisters that <coughs> a wife can give zakat to her husband but the husband cannot give zakat to his wife. Why? Because you give zakat to someone whom you are not responsible to. <coughs> but husband is responsible to his <coughs> wife. To feed her, to look after her, to clothe her. But a wife is not responsible to take care of her husband. But if she is taking care of her husband, it's regarded as zakat. Whatever she is spending. And also we come to know another thing through this hadith that uh, you have to find someone among your relatives to give zakat. Before going outside, you find someone within the community, within your relatives. But if uh, the relatives are dependent on you permanently, then you cannot give zakat. Because if they are dependent on you, it's their right upon you. You have to look after them. For example, Widow sister, disabled brother and sisters, little brother and sisters, if they are dependent on you, you are taking care of them, you cannot say, you know, oh, I'm taking care of my taking care of my brother and sister, so I will not give zakat. No. You have to find someone outside then. Alhamdulillah. And when you give zakat, do not express as a favor you have given to the person who has taken the zakat. Because you are not giving him any favor. And do not take back zakat or gift once you have given. Muhammad has said that uh, if someone has taken back what whatever he has given in zakat, it is like a dog swallowing his own vomit. Nasbillah, may Allah protect us. Um, in another hadith, uh, once uh, Umar Rizutalanu he gave one of the horse in charity. Subhanallah. Uh, then he found that the person who who was given charity is not taking good good care of his horse or that horse so he intended to buy it back assuming that you know he will uh, the the person will sell the horse at low price he thought you know the, uh, he will sell his or uh, that horse at low price then he went and asked Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam about the issue Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam prevented him from doing it he said do not take it back and do not buy it back whatever you have given in charity or as a gift if you do so it is just like you are swelling your own swallowing your own vomit billah. so whatever we have said allah may allah give me a tawfiq and allah give you all tawfiq to implement in our life Amin. assalamu alaikum warahmatullah